With close to seven years now since the adoption of the Sustainable Development Agenda, Uganda has witnessed steady progression on the attainment of Agenda 2030, according to a 2021 SDG status report by the SDG Secretariat. The 158-page report acknowledges that though strides have been attained, the success is uneven and Uganda is doing well on specific SDGs and lags behind on others, as Dr. Albert Biamcha, the head of the SDG Secretariat in the office of the Prime Minister, explains. As uh, sustainable development goals are concerned, as a country, we are, we are progressing well, but the performance is uneven because of the pandemic, the COVID pandemic. We know for the last two years not much was being done, and that affected, of course, performance of the government programs, projects, and so forth. While Uganda has done well in areas of poverty reduction and health care, the country still lags behind in areas of even power distribution, climate change, environmental protection, and education. Performance on the goals, some of them we have done very well, like of course in infrastructure, uh, medicine, uh, the health wealth for all, when we look at the immunizations, and the HIV aid reduction, and uh, the mortality resolution, the performance is very good. Now when you go to education, of course there we are stagnant, not much improvement, because we are looking at the quality of education, which is measured by efficiency in literacy and numeracy. Children being able to read, being able to read, and then write a little bit of calculation and so forth. So there was some bit of a problem and we did not do much to remain this second. The local governments where majority of Ugandans live and thrive are the key implementation partners of the agenda. However, it's been reported that 70% of the local government officials no note of the Sustainable Development Agenda, a major setback in the attainment of the global goals. People in the local governments are aware about SDGs, which is, which is true. And we realized this. That's why we decided that we will not wait for reports to find us in Kampala. Let's go and work with the stakeholders. We will not wait for reports to find us in our boardrooms. Let's go and work with the people, not only the leaders, but also the people, so, so that they get to know what SDGs are and what they work for and what res their responsibility. According to the focal point person for the SDGs in the office of the Prime Minister, Honorable Justin Kasule Lumumba, localization and ownership of the SDGs at the local level is now to open the agenda to ensure the UN development agenda is achieved by the year 2030. And so far, a major milestone has been bagged on that front in translating the SDG message into 13 local languages. We have also gone ahead to translate these SDGs in the local languages. So far, we've done it for 13 languages. They've been distributed, but also going out for radio programs to make sure people understand understand and appreciate and take on this challenge because it, it is the responsibility of all of us. We lead us and the people we lead. Uganda was one of the first countries to adopt the United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda that was adopted in 2015. At the time, the country held the chairmanship of the United Nations and the president of Uganda presided over the session of the United Nations General Assembly that adopted the Agenda 2030. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals and 169 targets, which are designed to bring several life-changing zeros, including zero poverty, zero hunger, zero AIDS-related stigma, zero discrimination against women and girls, as well as zero new HIV infections, will be key drivers for the country's development for the next eight years at least. And today's forum and two other subsequent events in western and northern regions are an expedition follow-up validation on the progress of SDGs at a local level, as has been described by the SDG Secretariat of the Office of the Prime Minister. Robert Indiamhachi for BTM News Today.